One of the things that I love the most when I'm working with people on leadership is the discussion about unconscious biases. However, biases are still taboo in many teams and in many organizations. In fact, I had a case when a client hired me to have a whole day uh, training on unconscious biases. And then after me being paid and before the training, the client came and asked me if perhaps I could replace the word biases with something else that would be a bit more acceptable and a bit more comfortable for his organization. We are afraid of naming biases by their real name. However, we all have biases. Our brain is simply a lazy, energy-consuming machine. So biases are shortcuts in helping us, or meant to help us to understand and interpret the reality better. However, biases are also very dangerous, particularly when they remain unconscious. And in the new world of work, we are invited, we are in a way stimulated to become even more conscious of our biases. We do have biases basically to anyone in anything that is different than what we are familiar with. So let's take the issue of remote work. What kind of biases can we apply on others? Well, if for me, it's more comfortable to work from the office, I could have biases towards people willing to work from home. If they're young, well, they, I could think that they are lazy. If they are um, uh, mothers, I could think that they are not necessarily productive because obviously they would take more time to take care of their children. If they are 50 plus, oh, you know, they're rigid and they won't be able to adapt fast and they are thinking about their retirement anyway. So from my perspective, I will apply biases and judgments um, to the people around me without actually double checking if my shortcuts to their understanding are correct. By the contrary, as well, when I am prefer I am preferring to work from home and I have in my team people who want to work from the office, I could think about them as gossips, as um, you know, people who waste their time, who prefer to waste their time um, in transport or in chatting with others and so on. So we unconsciously apply our way of seeing and understanding the world to the others. And this is a very dangerous approach. In fact, I say that, that unconscious biases are more dangerous than any virus because they attack and kill our human potential. Now imagine that you apply your biases when you are deciding whom to keep in your team and whom to let go, whom to hire or whom not to hire. We see now that biases indeed limit and squeeze and, and, and kill human potential. And this is why we need to have a very honest conversation about our biases, about their origin, about their shape, about their flavor, about everything that is connected to them. Because again, we all have them. It is the way our brain works. It's just that we are able to work with them only in the moment when we have brought them to light. So my invitation for you is, what are your biases? What will you do to explore them more, to understand them more, and to make sure that they will not get in the way of yourself or of the people around you? Explore your biases and let me know what you've discovered. I look forward to hearing more from you in the future.